Hey everyone, how's it going? Grizzlyberry here with another installment of the Map Callout series where I will be going over the most commonly used names for places in TF2 maps. This episode we're going over CP Goalie Wash, so let's get started. Coming out of the right spawn door you'll see what's known as Right Battlements, or just Right for short. On the left side of last is Left Battlements, or simply Left. Keep in mind these callouts change when you're pushing into last, so left would become right and vice versa. This is true for all directional callouts. Directly beneath left is a small room referred to as secret. Before pushing out of last, it's very important to check secret as there may be someone waiting to capture the point after your team has moved out. Another important place to check before pushing out of last is water. Water is the name given to this room beneath all of last. It got its name from previous iterations of Goalie Wash having water here. Exiting right out of water is a long, narrow hallway referred to as river. It's called river because it leads to water. From river you have access to lobby by using a small set of stairs. This area is a common place for medics to avoid spam and sightlines and is referred to as stairs. Lobby consists of this large room separating last and second. From last there are multiple ways to enter lobby. From left to right we have shutter or lockers, main, and balcony or launch pad. Both shutter and launch pad will put you in upper lobby, while main will lead you to lower lobby, which consists of this small room. From lobby, you have access to second, either through shutter or this area called big door. Above big door, you have what's known as upper or balcony. This wraps back around a river and upper lobby. As second, you have the point, which is simply referred to as point, and the area behind the point, which is covered in shadows, called behind point. Moving forward through second, there's not a ton of cover except for this rock, which is just called rock. To get to mid from second, you can go through big door or choke. Choke is a small area connecting second to mid. Within choke, there's a small drop down which leads under the point. This is called drop down. Coming out of choke, you have crates, which is this area near all of these boxes. Just to the left of crates, you have what's known as banana or ramp. If instead, you go right out of choke, you'll enter this room called elbow. Going through elbow will lead you to big door in the ground surrounding mid. This lowered area around and beneath the point is referred to as ground. And finally we have the control point itself, which is referred to as point. The raised area the control point is sitting on is often called nipple. Since Goalie Wash is a symmetrical map, there are two of everything at mid. You can simply refer to these areas as their or our. For example, if a soldier was coming through big door on their side, you would say soldier at their big door. Alternatively, if he was coming through your team's big door, you would say soldier at our big door. That pretty much clears up callouts for CP Goalie Wash. Keep in mind, callouts can be different for each team, but these are some of the most commonly used terms. Spend a little time learning these callouts and others will thank you. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't, I would love to hear what I can do to improve future videos. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. By the way, if you're looking for a place to put these callouts to use, check out TF2 Stadium. They offer a playing experience that mimics that of official leagues such as UGC and ESEA. Both Sixes and Highlander are offered with a variety of maps to choose from. TF2 Stadium is a great tool and I encourage anyone who is interested in competitive TF2 to give it a try. It's also ran by some really great people including my friend Kevin who has been working alongside me to ensure the accuracy of this series. So thank you very much Kevin, I really appreciate it.